Hello and welcome to the video. This is my overview and review of this latest kit here from HGLRC. This is a whoop with the radio, the goggles, in fact everything you need comes in the box aimed at beginners, available in both a 1S and 2S version. Now there are quite a few of these kits knocking around of various levels of quality and various price points. Now I like HGLRC stuff, I've got quite a few of their models in here and been impressed at how well they fly. And I've also been impressed with the recon FPV stuff that they've been creating in collaboration with Dave C. But this is a cool option if you are coming into the hobby, you don't have a radio, you don't have a goggles, you just want everything in the box that's all going to work and that's going to enable you to practice and also experience FPV. So while I unbox this, let's talk about what you actually get inside this little case. Now a lot of the kits that we're getting in also come in a case like this and it is really really handy for keeping everything nice and safe, well out of the way of things like pets so you don't get things chewed up but also allows you to keep everything together. Now this is a Petrol 75 Whoop. Um, I have the 1S version in here, we'll talk about the differences in a minute. The weight of the quad without receiver is about 33.4 grams. Now mine looks like it has a little XM Plus receiver in the bottom of mine but as I open the case up here you can see that there is literally everything you need. You don't have to buy any other batteries, you don't need even need separate AA batteries for anything. Uh, the batteries fit here at the bottom. I've just used a little bit of foam just to keep them in place with this being the 1S version. Uh, the goggles themselves are probably the least exciting part of this. These are VR009 VR goggles. They have a built-in battery that's charged by the USB. The resolution on them is 480 by 320. Uh, they do the job, uh, but we'll look at those more closely in a minute. And then the other nice part of this is the Radio Master T8 Lite remote controller. Now I looked at the T8 Pro recently. This is a eight channels, again, inbuilt battery that you charge by a USB type C cable. Uh, it's a great little radio for the beginners to play with. And then on the other side, you have all of the cables, all of the tools that you need. Uh, you have all of the separate pieces, including a set of spare props. Now, the only big difference between the 1S and the 2S version is the motors. Uh, the 1S version that I have here is an 0802 22,000 kV brushless motor, whereas that goes down to a 12,000 kV brushless motor if you are running it on 2S. So again, this is the Petrol 75 brushless whoop. It is very nice that it is brushless. Some of the other ones that I've looked at recently have been brushed and unfortunately brushed motors do wear out. Uh, it is nice to see the setup on this. HGRC do make some smart choices when they're putting stuff together. Again, in here is a Zeus 5 all-in-one 1 to 2 S flight controller uh, with a 4-in-1 ESC. There's also a Zeus Nano. Uh, the little Zeus Nano is actually quite a handy unit. I've used it in quite a lot of builds here. Everything from pit mode 2500, 200 and 350 milliwatts. The camera on this thing is a Cadix Ant 1000 TVL line CMOS camera and works nicely indoors and outdoors. Again, the props on this are Gem Fan 1635 40mm 3 bladed props and you do get a full spare set in the box. Next thing to talk about in a little bit more detail is the radio. Now it's nice to see them putting uh, a branded radio in here. Some of the other models that I've had in recently, uh, the radio feels very plasticky. Now the Radio Master T8 Lite in my opinion was absolutely made for exactly this kind of use case to be bundled in with these kind of models. Now this one is already bound to the model and everything is set up so you don't really have to do anything to get it to work. The gimbals are quite nice, it's handy for pinchers, it's handy for thumbers and there's also the nice little finger rest that pop down as well. Just charge it up using the supplied USB-C cable and it's going to be ready to go. 
Last thing to talk about then is the goggles. Again, these are the VR009 uh, FPV goggles. Standard stuff. There's no DVR on this. These are pretty basic goggles, very similar to some of the other goggles in some of the kits. And this is probably the least impressive part of the kit. But then we're getting everything you need to fly. Goggles, radio, every, model, batteries, cables for about 150, 160 pounds. A good set of FPV goggles is going to cost you probably twice or three three times that. So these will work fine when you start out. Uh, the controls are very easy and intuitive if there's a power button. The display is okay in them. Uh, the only issue that I've had is the, the fit is fine. Uh, depends on the shape of your face but the screen, the focus, it's quite close up to you. So this is one of those things that if you need any kind of sight correction for reading, uh, you're going to struggle with this. And unfortunately, they haven't left enough room in here to wear goggles with either. These are uh, very basic entry-level goggles, but they'll do the job. In terms of the beta flight setup, uh, i just very quickly go through this. I'm just going to talk about the fact that if you want to you can download beta flights and you can plug it in you can play with stuff however it is set up out the box so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff if you just want to plug it in kind of download the manual and just go and fly with it then you absolutely can however if you then get to the point where you want to plug it in and have a look and start to play with things like beta flight the usb port at the bottom of the quad absolutely allows you to do that and I think that's a really important part for a beginner kit because as you transition for these beginner all-in-one kits into something else it's good to have had a little bit of experience in looking at the beta flight or INAV configurators so you know your way around and you've got a better way of setting stuff up also means if you're watching something in a YouTube video you can actually go and look at how it's set up on your individual model the tune in the setup on this is fine the only thing I would do personally as somebody who sets their own quads up a lot I'd come in here play with the on-screen display and play with the modes so that the right switches on that radio master t8 light radio work the right way in terms of flying it is exactly what you expect it to be hover point is just under half throttle with this 1s version and it is a great way to fly indoors the enclosed props means that it bounces off stuff and the camera that little uh, ant camera works really nicely it's handling the lower light conditions really well not a lot of noise from this flight time is only about two and a half minutes so you're only going to get about five minutes total flight time out of the two batteries that are supplied so in summary this is one of the nicer and ready to fly all in one kits that I have tried here. Uh, there are some really nice pieces in the kit and it is backed up with decent documentation, which is really nice to see from a manufacturer where sometimes the documentation is poor to non existent. The case is a really nice touch for storing all the pieces, and even when you've put everything together, the only thing you need to do is to take the antennas off the goggles and everything slides back into place. Spare props, removal tool, all the cables you need, even the little charger is in the box for the batteries. Uh, we'll come on to the fact that I probably would recommend you getting more batteries and another charger as well, just to speed the time up that you have to wait for everything to get going. It is all bound up and set up, so you don't have to do anything. If you don't want to play with things like beta flight and you just want to get it and take it out and fly it, that's something you absolutely can do with this kit. I like the fact it's a Radio Master T8 light. Uh, the T8 light is a pretty solid entry level radio and it does have the ability to bind and work with other things as well. Brushless motors on this, so you get the usual kind of uh, high whine from it, no louder than any other standard whoops that you would hear. And again, flight time is only about two and a half to three minutes a pack. And it's going to be about two minutes if you're flying it aggressively, more like towards the three minutes if you're being incredibly gentle tune is nice with the power level enough for indoors i would go with the 2s version if you want to fly outdoors the 1s version is very calm and relaxed and great for a beginner only a couple of things to watch out for with this uh, the goggles again are the least impressive part of this the short focal length and no support for spectacles does mean that unfortunately if you do need any sight correction for reading stuff they aren't going to work for you very well. And as I said before, you are going to need more batteries. Now, mine came with two. That's going to give you about 
four to six minutes of flight time in total. When you're learning to fly, uh, that might be enough before your brain's fried, but as you get more competent, you'll easily get through a battery uh, before you've finished flying. So I would probably, if I'm gonna order this, order a couple of extra batteries along with it too. All in all, this is one of the best ready-to-fly all-in-one kits aimed at beginners that I've had in here. The way it's set up and the thought behind it is really good. So if you are looking for a kit or maybe you're looking to purchase a kit for someone who's looking to get into the hobby, this should definitely be on your list for consideration. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.